So in this little container, it seems that we're only gonna get uh, one full-size fruit body, uh, even though this is not a very big fruit body. Uh, we've got a couple over here near the edge, but uh, this actually had um, almost a week where um, the perlite container that it was in had a uh, fairly dehydrated uh, perlite. So um, anyway, I replaced it and, you know, got the relative humidity back up to, you know, close to 100%. And sure enough, the mycelium started to, um, or continued to uh, colonize and to, to spread. So I ended up getting one fruit body. Uh, this one, however, was, uh, didn't have any, any time without any moisture. So um, it looks like we're gonna get a little bit of a better yield on this one right here. I think there's a couple of, uh, a couple of pins starting to come up. Let me see. Anyway, so uh, I'm gonna check back in a few days and we'll see what we got. But uh, yeah, the plan for this guy right here is uh, I'm gonna take a piece of live tissue from that, uh, maybe even, you know, probably in the next day or two and uh, use it and put the live tissue at these dishes of agar media to see if I can uh, get a, uh, a successful clone uh, yield off of that mushroom, so. Keep your fingers crossed, we'll see what happens.